What's up YouTube, this is Kari from Accelerate and today we'll be looking at CLI and how we'll set it up in our Windows computer. So what is a CLI? CLI has many interpretations like command line interpreter or command line input but it's most commonly known as the command line interface. So a CLI is a program that accepts text input and then take that input and execute operating system functions like going to a specific folder in your hard drive, operating a file, creating and deleting documents and all sorts of things. But are you? Why don't we just use a keyboard and mouse? Why not just use a GUI? It's so much easier to navigate through. Well here are some reasons why we don't want to use GUI and why we want to use the CLI instead. 1. We gain a much greater control over the system function. There are commands that is accessible only through a CLI, and we really need those to execute complex functions. 2. We can use Node Package Manager, the most popular tool for the modern developer. And since they don't have a GUI, the only way to install these packages is through a CLI. 3. Local Backend Development. A lot of backend requires CLI to function and to navigate through. Although there are some GUIs, or some with GUIs, you can never beat the versatility and raw power of a CLI. But enough about CLI. Let's start setting up our computer so we can use a Linux-based CLI on our Windows computer. To start things off, we want to go to our Start menu, type in PowerShell, and run this as Administrator. Right-click and run as Administrator. You're going to get a big prompt. Say yes. There you go. Have our PowerShell. Here we want to type in a command that enables us to use uh, Linux subsystem, but I'm just going to copy and paste that. Cool. I'll put that in the description box below so you don't need to type that. Just press enter. It's going to run. We're going to see if it works. Boom. Perfect. We just enabled our subsystem of Linux. So now we could install Ubuntu. You're going to go to your start menu again. Go to your Microsoft Store and search up Ubuntu. Now we're going to be using the 18.04 LTS, the build that we're using currently and it works fine. I've already installed it so go ahead and install and then launch it when you have time. Once you've installed it, just click launch and then you're going to get prompt a username and password. So, since I've already done it, I don't have that prompt. But guys, I gotta be honest with you. I can't stress this enough. If you don't remember your username and password, don't make it complicated in the first place. It's very important that you remember your password. Use something easy and you'll never have a problem. All right. But back to our little tutorial. After you registered your name and you know your password, we're going to mount our drive so that we could access it through Windows. So to do that we're gonna go cd which means change directory slash mnt slash c. Now if you're using a d drive then you could go ahead and press d instead. So if you press enter here boop, we have mounted onto our c drive. Now if I wanted to go into further into our documentation, I could go cd, change directory, if I remember correctly I would like to go to users, and then my username, then documents, and then the file that I want to access, and then there we have it. Accelerate materials, boom. To check what's inside the material, you just type in ls. Now that you learned a little bit about Ubuntu, and CLI, this ends our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, accelerate learning, accelerate learning. Woo. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.